Our universe is immense, and in it, there are a considerable number of massive objects. There are giant planets, stars, in comparison with which our sun is just a grain of sand. Galaxies, clusters, and superclusters of galaxies, walls, and voids. This succession can continue, increasing in size and mass. And at any given point of this progression, you can find its accepted record holder, up to this point anyway. In this video, we will introduce you to the largest galaxies in the observable universe. So, fifth place in our galactic parade is taken by 3C348 of Hercules A, a yellowish galaxy with a diameter of 1.5 million light years at a distance of about 2 billion light years. Hercules A is one of the brightest extragalactic radio sources. The galaxy is about 1,000 times more massive than the Milky Way, and Hercules A contains a black hole that is also 1,000 times more massive than the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Unless you are a professional astronomer, you are unlikely to notice anything unusual in the photographs of the galaxies of Hercules A taken with the optical imaging. Even in the best of the shots, you will see an outwardly ordinary elliptical star system, of which thousands can be found in the vastness of space. But take your time. Observations have shown that Hercules A is very far from the Earth. In addition to that, with the development of radio astronomy, further observations have shown that by radio waves, the galaxy looks completely different than it does in optical images. The radio waves do not emanate from the galaxy itself, but from two powerful jets shooting out from its center. In optical imaging, they are completely invisible. But then, by radio waves, they show a complex structure. The next galaxy is IC1101, which for a long time was considered the largest in the observable universe, is rightfully in fourth place and resides in the massive cluster of galaxies Abel 2029 that is located on the very edge of the constellation of Virgo at a distance of 1.04 billion light-years from the Earth. The galaxy has a diameter of approximately 6 million light-years. If we compare it with the Milky Way, then it is 60 times larger and 2,000 times heavier. Had IC1101 been in the location of the Milky Way, it would have swallowed up the large and the small Magellanic clouds, the Andromeda Nebula and the Triangulum Galaxy. Before you is UGC 9555, a huge galaxy that occupies third place. This galaxy is located directly in the galaxy triplet system named UGC 9555. The cluster is located in the direction of the constellation Camelopardalis, a distance of 820 million light years from the Earth. This enormous star studded island is just over 8 million light years in diameter. At the moment, the mass of this radio galaxy is quite difficult to estimate, but experts believe that it is no less than 65 to 75 trillion times the mass of the Sun. Like most huge galaxies, UGC 9555 attained such a size and acquired such a considerable mass due to the fact that it relentlessly consumed neighboring galaxies that dwelled close to the inhabitants of the cluster. Behold! Almost the leader, but still in second place in our intergalactic battle today, 3C236, and it's 15 million light years away. It is a radio galaxy of the Fanarov and Riley second class. It ranks among the largest of the known radio galaxies and is located in the direction of the constellation Leo Minor. The galaxy features a double double radio morphology, consisting of a giant relic source and an inner, more compact radio source. A recent episode of star formation closer to the core can be associated with the event that led to the reignition of radioactivity. And here finally, we have reached the leader for the moment, the galaxy Alcyoneus. In a new study, it became clear that its length is already equal to more than 16 million light years and it is located a distance of 3 billion light-years from the Earth. 
researchers encountered the cosmic supergiant with the help of the so-called radio lobes, which are inherent to all massive galaxies, with the inclusion of our Milky Way. The existence of similar lobes on the Alcyoneus galaxy was able to be detected using the low-frequency array inferometric network consisting of 20,000 radio antennas mounted on 52 platforms in various European countries. The discovered galaxy turned out to be a genuine supergiant, the likes of which has never been detected in the entire history of space observation. There is a supermassive black hole in the center of Alcyoneus, which slows down the formation of new stars and thus greatly affects the life cycle of the galaxy as a whole. Sometimes this causes a violent spectacle. The black hole, absorbing material from the giant disk around it, can form two jets that eject fuel for new stars from the galaxy at a speed of close to the speed of light. These plumes or jets travel huge distances and then turn into giant radio-emitting lobes. During this process, the stellar dust is heated to such a degree that it dissolves into plasma and begins to radiate in the radio frequency range. The galaxy is also impresses with its other characteristics, which researchers have been able to measure thanks to the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. For example, the supermassive black hole at the center of Alcyoneus is 400 million times more massive than our Sun and the mass of the entire galaxy is estimated to be 240 billion times the mass of our Sun. As you can see, the majority of radio galaxies have gigantic dimensions, but why all of them aren't huge remains a mystery. It's believed that these giants are the oldest radio galaxies that have existed long enough, perhaps several hundred million years, for their radio jets to grow to an enormous size. If this is true, then there must be many more giant radio galaxies that are known today. And the discovery of similar giants and their study helps determine the evolution of galaxies in the first place. After all, we are talking about a powerful galactic structure that originated from what was at a one time a completely commonplace galaxy.